Hello, I am Santi Rogers. I'm the director of the Department of Development Services. It's an honor to share with you the unbelievable uh, success we've had of creating a pathway of freedom for individuals we serve and their families. It's called self-determination. Self-determination is built on some very basic principles that you and I live by. The opportunity to make choices for where you live and with whom you're going to live. It's a personal freedom, and that personal freedom is best exhibited when you're in your own place. Your family is intimately involved, and part of that is an extension of a good life. Hi, my name is Willie West. I've been in the Self-Determination Pilot Project at the Redwood Coast Regional Center for the last 15 years. When I entered the pilot, I was 18 years old, and it was a lottery system. And I didn't know if I was gonna be part of it or not. And I didn't even know what it was going to be, but I was all for it. I was all for change. The self-determination program has changed my life a lot. It helped me grow as a human being. I could live independently. And I got an awesome job at the Redwood Coast Regional Center. I'm part of society and it just feels wonderful. The services that I find the most beneficial is community living, I have um, a caregiving company that comes in in the morning to help me get up out of bed. I have transportation and I have advocacy. Hey, David. We have a child with a very, very rare chromosome condition. And I think the fact that we have the options and the choices, it's hard, but it's not as hard. I don't know how we would do it without self-determination. I honestly don't. It has been that good for our family and for our child. We have an eight-year-old son named Oscar Antonio who's been diagnosed with Down syndrome. It did take some time for us to understand what were the options, what was the help, and the regional center was, was uh, where we first walked in, and they've been amazing. They've helped us tremendously. Self-determination will give us flexibility, and we fully expect we'll have the lifestyle that he merits and deserves. Well, the starting point for us uh, is uh, that we have principles that have been established through our pilot that um, for us there are just four. Freedom, that's freedom of choice. Authority over the services and products that we choose to have. Support from the regional center because it is responsible for providing things that uh, may be helpful to our child to promote his cognitive development as well as physical health, safety, and quality of life. And then fourth, and importantly, is responsibility. And responsibility is really accountability for the funds that we receive to expand on services and products. My name is Maria Marquez and I was the first person in the state of California to have my budget signed under the self-determination pilot project. Each participant under the self-determination will have their own individual budget. And, with, and that budget is for the whole year where they get to pick and choose their services and pull out of their budget. Like my budget, what I used it was to get a computer so that I can get a good job. Your budget is based on your plan and your plan is what your needs are for the year. And then your budget is how much money the regional center will spend on what you need for the year. You know what the funds are that you're gonna receive, and then at the end of each month, you submit a report uh, that, is, uh, that, that tells you what you started with, what you expended your funds on, what was left over, how the funds have, it, have been expended, and what has actually occurred. That requires work, that's, that's the responsibility part. Self-determination gives us the ability to really create a customized program for our son. And at the end of the day, it's not really us, it's going to be what he wants. You have more flexibility and self-determination to say, he doesn't fit in this slot, but I think we can create a new slot. With self-determination, the door is open. We, we, we can access those services and don't have to wait for a long time. We'll be able to, to create a self-centered plan specific for him. You can sign up for the self-determination program by going to the informational meetings, talking to your service coordinator, and even talking to your family about it so that everybody's aware of what's going on.
For um, anyone who's interested, the first thing that I would recommend that you do is that you let your uh, regional center know and make sure that you attend the first orientation, which explains to parents the responsibility and, and all the work, because there is a lot of work, but it's also all worth it. You've heard from some of the hearts and strong feelings of both people who are going to be participating in self-determination, as well as their parents who are going to support those participants. It's a great celebration that we are experiencing. Imagine that, a good life. What are the components of a good life? It's the opportunity to make decisions for yourself. I am self-determined and I am in control. Yo estoy en control. Kimi no no wa watashi. Wa fu za. My type me I am an old boy. So I went home and I told my parents over dinner, I'm going to move out on my own. And they go, well, when's that going to happen? I go in the next six months. And I didn't know if that was going to be the truth or not, but that was my goal. And a year later, I moved out on my own and my mom said that it would never work because with my disability and all the stuff I need help with. And I've been living out on my own now for 15 years.